Hello, everyone, and welcome to another wonderful week through the Enchanted Spreads. Now, the Enchanted Spreads are meant to hit in on some of the harsher points in life through fairy tales and folklore that we can find a little bit more relatable. But now these are the Grimm's rendition of these. So these ones hit on those harsher points just a little bit more clear for you. But they are left to give us guidance and clarity in our situation. So let's go ahead and see what story we have for us today. And we have the Frog Prince. Now, I love the Frog Prince story uh, because, of course, there's a witch in here. <laughs> and there's a prince who, of course, falls under this spell of a witch, uh, which turns him into a frog. And the only way to relieve this spell is for him to have companionship, um, for someone to actually be genuine and pure with him. Uh, now, obviously, this is very difficult because he is a frog, so of course not many people give him that the time of day. Uh, but one day he goes and he's hopping along in his merry way and he stumbles upon a girl who, uh, by all means, is spoiled rotten. She gets everything and anything she wants. And of course, there's this ball, this golden ball that she loses and she wants it back more than anything because, of course, we always want what we don't have, um, but we don't appreciate it enough when it's right in front of us. Um, so she's grieving the loss of this ball and the frog happens to be there, the frog prince, and he goes, well, why are you so upset? It's just a ball, you know? Um, and she was like, well, it's because it's my favorite. And he says, how about this? I'll make you a deal. I'll go and recover your ball if you give me one thing as well in return. And she goes, I'll give you anything you want. Um, I don't care. Just get my ball. So, of course, he goes and gets her ball. And he brings it back to her. And he says, now, you owe me something, remember? And she says, okay, what is it that you want? And he asks her for her companionship. Um, he asks that he can come and stay the night with her, knowing that, of course, this will break the spell. So, of course, he was under a guise for her as well. He did have his own motives. Uh, he does show up, of course, and the girl is so repulsed. She doesn't really actually want to help the prince. Uh, but the king says, you know, no, we keep true to our word. So, of course, she invites the frog in and he eats with her and he drinks with her and he goes to her room and is on her pillow. Of course, she's disgusted because she never actually wanted to hang out with the frog. She was all about herself. Um, and she smacks the frog off of her pillow and he flies against the wall and he transforms into the prince. Because now he's had all of the companionship. Now, of course, it's a bit brutal there. <laughs> having to make him come to his identity in that form. But that's that slap of reality that we all, in a sense, get. Um, now, in the end of the story, she does end up falling for the prince, and they do, of course, marry and live happily ever after in this case. Uh, but this story tells you that of intimacy, how much and how far of the lens we may go for it how we seek these things of companionship, um, whether that be out of people or things, um, how when we have certain desires, it will take nothing to stop us from getting them. Um, when this story comes to you and you're listening, I want you to ask yourself, you know, what may I be missing out on? What am I not appreciating in my life that maybe I should show a little bit more value. What am I thinking may be worthless, but may actually be worth everything? Uh, you see here, had the princess ignored that prince, had she ignored the frog, and had she not kept her word, she would have never gotten to see the true value uh, that came out of responding and interacting and following through on her word and her promise. And sometimes we ask for things and we don't realize what it is that we're truly needing or desiring and spirit aligns that purpose to us because she never expected to uh, move forward and find the love of her life and all of this. And yet somehow she did. So I encourage you to trust your intuition, to honor through with your words, to pay attention to the things that are around you, to Take time to treasure and honor what you had before it may be too late. And to also recognize that what may look like it's one thing may actually be something else. So don't be so quick to be judgmental as well. Now, I hope you guys found this story to be helpful. 
And I hope you guys do stay tuned because we have another one for next week. Of course, make sure you guys like and share and subscribe because we've got a whole lot of content and we'll see you next time. Oh, no,